Here's another very simple kitchen countertop build for a pulse motor made out of common items um, and built up uh, on, the, on the countertop with uh, tape and simple simplistic situations. Uh, this one uh, is unique in that there were no tools used to make this whatsoever. It was all done uh, by hand. Uh, it's a water bottle and a coat hanger. Uh, tape is used to secure the structure. It's running on a double-A battery and the coil is a sewing machine bobbin plastic coil with no core. It's 30 gauge magnet wire. You can get it at the Radio Shack or buy it on uh, YouTube or Amazon or someplace. The reed switch is called a proximity, magnetic proximity switch. I'll give a link to where you can get that. That's a rather critical thing, that reed switch. Um, if you try to do this with brushes, it's too much friction and uh, it, you'll, you'll have a lot of trouble with it. So I recommend go ahead and find a reed switch, a proximity, magnetic proximity switch. Um, another thing that's unusual about this is I'm using L nickel magnets. These are refrigerator magnets, not neodymiums. They're common and very, very inexpensive. Um, here again, you could find them very easily and they don't cost a lot. The construction method was also very simple. What you do is you unwrap the coat hanger. You use the free end to heat it up on a stove and poke the holes in the bottle, the plastic. The nuts are just for spacers on it. And like I say, the coat hanger was really the only tool and that was used to melt the holes in the bottle. So there were no, no tools, no screwdriver, no pliers. No soldering iron. Uh, tape was used to connect everything together. These proximity switches come with the wire, so you don't have to solder a, a, a proximity switch. And uh, the rest is just taped to the countertop. And that is a pulse motor. Built up on a kitchen countertop with a plastic water bottle and a coat hanger. Thanks for watching.